Welcome back developers. Are you ready to supercharge your workflow? Today we are diving deep into the top trending open source dev tool projects that are changing how we build, deploy, and analyze. We're talking about deploying custom traffic platforms with Netgoat, streamlining Kubernetes application management using Helm, and achieving flawless visual realism in images with Libcom. We'll also cover advanced runtime type safety with Archtype and simplifying technical presentations using Slidev. Get ready for a step-by-step -step breakdown of these seven essential tools. Before we jump into today's project updates, here's a quick announcement for everyone. We've launched a brand new YouTube channel called AI Agent Studio, dedicated entirely to AI agent projects, tutorials, and tools. So if you're interested in staying up to date with the latest AI agent open source projects, learning how to build your own agents, or exploring cutting edge agent frameworks, make sure to check it out. Subscribe now to get weekly videos, in-depth guides, and real-time project breakdowns. The link is right there in the description. Don't miss it. All right, let's get into today's video. Project number one, NetGoat, a powerful reverse proxy engine for developers and home labbers. NetGoat offers something genuinely different by putting full control of traffic management, security, and scaling into your own hands without relying on big vendor lock-ins. What makes this tool unique is that it blends advanced features usually reserved for premium services into a self-hostable platform, so you get zero trust networking, DDoS protection, SSL termination, and traffic shaping capabilities all under your management. Rather than paying for high-end cloud proxies or being bound to one provider's ecosystem, NetGoat lets you deploy in local or cloud environments and build your own Cloudflare-style stack while staying free and open source. The flexibility is striking. You can define custom rules per domain, plug in WebSocket, HTTP2, rate limiting and real-time metrics, all with a dashboard designed to give you visibility into your traffic and threats. Another standout is the plug-in system and dynamic rules engine. NetGoat doesn't force you into rigid configurations. Instead, you can extend its behavior with your own middlewares, set caching policies, or apply bespoke routing logic per host. This level of fine-grained control is rare in self-hosted systems, and makes it particularly useful for those who want to tailor traffic flow, security posture and scaling to their exact use case. Then there's the integration layer. It supports scanning your domains for proxying, managing upstream tunnels, and even while working in tandem with paid services, can act as a superior layer on top of them. The end result is that you're not just replacing a service, you're architecting a custom traffic platform, one where you own the stack. In short, NetGoat stands out because it democratizes enterprise-grade traffic management. It gives developers, home labbers, and teams the features of a major cloud proxy provider, but with full ownership and no recurring vendor fees. That shift from depending on someone else's network to running your own powerful, flexible platform is what makes NetGoat truly unique. Project number two, Libcom, the ultimate toolkit for realistic object insertion and image harmonization. The tool Libcom stands out because it addresses a core challenge in visual design, seamlessly inserting an object into a background so that the result looks convincing. Instead of simply pasting a foreground element onto a background, this toolbox handles appearance, geometry, and semantic consistency, meaning the inserted object matches lighting, shadow, scene context, and scale, and even the semantic meaning, does it belong there or stand out weirdly? What makes Libcom truly unique is its breadth of capabilities. It isn't limited to one specific trick. It supports standard image blending, painterly harmonization, suiting artistic backgrounds, realistic shadow generation, reflection generation, placement evaluation, which location and scale best fit the object, and even generative insertion, where the tool finds the best pose and view of the foreground to match the background. This means users who care about visual realism get one unified toolbox rather than patching together multiple libraries or scripts. Another standout is its intelligence around placement and harmony. The toolbox includes models that evaluate whether the foreground object fits in the background, in terms of geometry and semantics, and even heat maps showing optimal insertion positions and scales. So instead of guessing where to put something, or how to blend it, you get guidance and metrics telling you how plausible the result is. That's powerful for creators who need reliable quality. In addition, Libcom is built in a modular way so that each task, blending harmonization, shadow flexion generation, placement scoring, has focused methods, but they integrate into a cohesive workflow. 
Finally, the project's open source license, Apache 2.0, and its foundation in real research from the Brain-like Computing and Machine Intelligence BCMI lab, means it's not just a toy, it's scientifically backed and designed for practical use. In short, what makes Libcom special is the combination of completeness, intelligent decision support, and visual realism for image composition, bringing object insertion out of the looks fake zone and into something that feels naturally part of the scene. Project number three, React Grab. Point and click context for AI tools. React Grab brings a fresh and streamlined way to bridge user interfaces with AI agents by allowing you to capture any element within your application and hand it over to contextual tools like Cursor or Claude Code. What makes this tool stand out is its simplicity and the power it unlocks. Instead of forcing complex instrumentation or custom hooks to extract HTML, DOM states or user context information, React Grab gives you a lightweight overlay where holding a modifier such as Camor C and clicking an element instantly tags that component as context for downstream AI workflows. The uniqueness lies in how it empowers non-specialists and dev teams alike to turn any live UI into structured input for intelligent agents. Often when you're building AI-enhanced features, say code assistance, document crawlers, or live page summarizers, you struggle to expose exactly which element the user cares about. React Grab makes that friction vanish. Rather than sifting through element IDs, class names, or writing custom integrations, it gives you one consistent interface. As described, grab any element in your app to give it to cursor, clawed code, etc. Another compelling strength is its cross-framework friendliness. While designed with React in mind, the library supports simple script injection for environments where a full build integration isn't easily done, and includes plugins for tools like Vite. This means teams don't have to abandon legacy code bases or re-architect heavy parts just to adopt smarter workflows. Also, the tool shifts the paradigm from passive UI generation to active component selection, where the user or agent chooses exactly the relevant piece of the interface, rather than inferring it later. That precision leads to less noise, fewer false positives in automation, and tighter control over what context is passed into the AI. Lastly, being open source MIT licensed and well starred 1K plus stars signals that this is not just a toy, but an evolving ecosystem. Overall, what makes React Grab unique is its laser focus on context capture, its zero fuss integration, and its ability to supercharge how front end UIs connect with intelligent agents, making your UI itself an entry point into AI workflows without heavy lifting. Project number four. Helm, Streamlining Application Deployments and Management. The tool stands out because it revolutionizes how applications are deployed on Kubernetes by treating them like installable versioned packages rather than a tangle of manual configuration files. Instead of writing and maintaining dozens of YAML files for every environment and every microservice, you bundle everything needed into a single package called a chart. That means the app, its dependencies, configuration, and templates all live in one place. One of the unique advantages is the ability to manage entire application life cycles, install, upgrade, rollback with the same mechanism. When a new version of your app needs to go live, it's no longer a matter of patching dozens of objects. You simply deploy a new version of the chart and the tool handles the rest. That built-in versioning and rollback capability is a massive productivity and safety win. Another key benefit is environment-specific templating. The same chart can be reused across development, staging and production by overriding configuration values rather than creating separate stacks of files. This means consistency across environments, less duplication, fewer mistakes, and faster deployment. Sharing and reusing is yet another strength. Charts can be published into repositories, just like software packages, making distribution and collaboration much easier across teams and organizations. Popular open source applications already provide ready-to-use charts, so you're standing on the shoulders of the community rather than building everything from scratch. Finally, the way it aligns with infrastructure workflows and DevOps practices makes it really modern, delivering application packages that behave predictably, supporting upgrade slash rollback, templating from multiple environments, and sharing among teams. All of these features together make the tool much more than just another deployment helper. It becomes the backbone of how you manage applications on Kubernetes at scale. In summary, what makes this tool unique is its packaging mindset, lifecycle support, environment agnostic templating, and community sharing, turning complex Kubernetes deployments into manageable, reusable, version-controlled units. Project number five, slide for Create beautiful presentations with markdown and developer-friendly features. 
SlideFacute introduces a refreshing way to craft presentations by treating slides as markdown-driven documents, which makes the process both familiar and lightning fast for anyone comfortable with code editors. What truly sets this tool apart is the seamless blend of developer productivity and presentation elegance. You write content in Markdown, yet underneath you get full power of live code snippets, interactive components, theming, diagrams, math formulas, all built in. One of the standout features is how Slive supports embedding live view components, or any interactive snippet directly inside your slides, which means your talks aren't just static bullet points, but can include real demos, dynamic visuals, and even playable code. You also get built-in support for things like LaTeX math, mermaid diagrams and icons, so complex technical content becomes visually appealing without extra hassle. Another unique strength lies in the theming and customization. You're not limited to a fixed slide template look. With developer tools like Uno CSS, Integrated Editor View, Live Preview, and Hot Module Reload, you can tweak the style, layout, animations, colors, and export formats, PDF, PPTX, PNG, with ease. And because the underlying stack uses Vite plus View plus Markdown, everything runs lightning fast, changes reflect instantly, and you stay in flow rather than fighting presentation software quirks. Beyond that, Slide offers a presenter mode. You can control the slides from another device or view speaker notes on a phone, annotation slash drawing features, and portable exports so your presentations work offline or in print form. All of these features make it especially suited for technical talks, developer conference sessions, and educational content where you want the audience to see code, interact with components, and understand complex systems visually. In short, what makes this tool special is how it treats slide creation as a developer-first writing experience, while delivering a polished, interactive presentation end result. It removes the barrier between writing content and building slides, empowering you to focus on storytelling and visuals, not wrestling with slide software. Project number six, Archetype. Bridging static types and runtime safety, seamlessly. Archetype stands out because it brings together the precision of TypeScript's compile time type system with robust runtime validation without asking you to duplicate type definitions or maintain separate validator code manually. At its heart, it offers a one-on-one -on -one mapping between your TypeScript types and runtime checks, meaning you define a shape once and it automatically becomes both a static type and a live checkable schema. This unified approach reduces bugs, avoids drift between type annotations and actual data, and streamlines development workflows. What makes Archetype unique is how lightweight yet powerful it is. Unlike many alternatives that either generate bulky runtime code or force you into separate schema languages, Archetype is designed to operate directly alongside your TypeScript types. That means fewer context switches, better editor integration, you get type hints and error checking right in your IDE, and simpler maintenance. Because the runtime validators are optimized, you get checks that are both accurate and performant, designed to handle high-traffic input validation scenarios without bogging things down. Another compelling aspect is the editor-to-runtime continuity. When you're declaring a type in TypeScript, you're implicitly defining what will be validated at runtime too. This continuity makes it much easier to reason about your code, catch mismatches early, and ensure your boundary layers incoming JSON, API responses, user input, behave as expected. You're not just hoping types and actual data align, you verify they do. Finally, the community backing and ecosystem maturity matter. With over 7k stars and a wide adoption base, it's clear this isn't a toy library, it's a serious tool trusted in production. Because it covers both static and runtime validation so cleanly, Archetype reduces cognitive load, accelerates development, and enhances safety. In short, Archetype isn't just another validator, it's a smart fusion of TypeScript types and runtime verification, engineered to keep your codebase consistent, your data reliable, and your development experience smooth. Project number 7, Social Analyzer, Uncovering Social Footprints Across 1000 Plus Farms. This tool stands out because it brings an unusually broad, unified approach to discovering and analyzing online identities across an enormous number of social media sites, over 1,000. Rather than limiting the search to one or two networks, it offers integrated API, command line, and web app interfaces that work in tandem. What makes it really unique is the layering of multi-stage detection and rating mechanisms, meaning the system assigns a confidence score from 0 to 100 to each profile discovery, no maybe yes, helping to reduce false positives and provide a more intelligent assessment of identity matches. 
Another key differentiator is the design for both mass search and targeted inspection. You can feed in names, usernames, emails, or even lists of users, and it runs combinations of name permutations, searches across multiple websites, collects metadata and patterns, and then visualizes connections via graphs and metadata summaries. The ability to filter by ranking, region, or site category adds more depth than typical one-site scanners. Additionally, the tool offers layered modules such as OCR, Advanced and Special Detection, Screenshot Capture, and Search Engine Lookups, Google, DuckDuckGo, as optional enhancements. This means instead of simply listing found usernames, it digs into pattern analysis, website metadata, and structural clues, giving a richer intelligence output. What also makes this project unique is its open source nature and flexible deployment. It supports a web interface, CLI in both Python and Node, JS and can run locally, important when dealing with privacy or investigative constraints. Using it, analysts or curious users can launch broad profile scans and export results, including JSON, for further use. Finally, the speed and scalability for fleet searches, multi-user, many sites, combined with classification, good slash maybe bad, and filtering enables workflows that are more advanced than typical social analyzers. In essence, this becomes a comprehensive investigative tool, not just a simple lookup utility. In short, the uniqueness comes from its scale, its layered intelligence, its multi-mode interfaces, and its open architecture, making it a standout for anyone interested in identity discovery and social footprint analysis. We covered a massive ground today from NetGoat's powerful self-hosted traffic control that democratizes enterprise-grade features, to the essential packaging mindset of Helm for Kubernetes, and the investigative scale of Social Analyzer across a thousand platforms. Whether you're capturing precise UI context for AI with React Grab, ensuring data reliability with Archetype's runtime verification, or delivering interactive technical talks using Slide, these open source projects are designed to accelerate and secure your stack. Let me know which tool you'll be trying first. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more deep dives into cutting-edge development technology.